I'm Joey. I'm Jason. And this is Metal Monster Review. Review. Being that this is Metal and Monster Review, it's time we start talking some hey. Let's talk death metal. We're going to debate two albums here by the same band. And what we have here is Six Feet Under with Haunted from 1995. And then we have from 2012 here, Six Feet Under's Undead. Which is going to be the better album? They're both killer records. And before we get into this, if you're not familiar with Six Feet Under, let's talk a little bit about that. Six Feet Under was started by Chris Barnes after his departure from another famous death metal band that we have reviewed here in Metal and Monster Reviews as Cannibal Corpse. So this was his new band after leaving Cannibal. Jason, would you like to talk about Six Feet Under? Yeah, you're... You were talking, just mentioned how he was in Chris Barnes and Cannibal Corpse. What I like about Six Feet Under is, now, now Barnes, this was a side project he had when he was still with Cannibal Corpse, but when they sent their ways, this was his main focus. And one thing I like about Six Feet Under is, Barnes, he didn't bring Cannibal Corpse to Six Feet Under. No, it, it was a separate project. And, and there, there's lots of bands out there that get, well, I'm all about side projects, but I just don't like when they start a, a side project and it sounds just like the other band they were Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I really do. And I, I see your point on this because with Six Feet Under compared to Cannibal Corpse, I mean, Six Feet Under was a little more on the groovier side. Um, a slower tempo, which was cool. I mean, but they still had some really heavier stuff, whereas we've mentioned with Cannibal, they had a sound that was almost like out of control, but that's what made it so fucking great. So now we have to discuss the albums. So um, with Haunted here, uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff on here. My favorite track on here is a killer song about werewolves, and that's uh, Lycanthropy. Uh, really cool um, I love that double bass work coming in from uh, Greg Gall, who played on drums on this album. Uh, that's one of my favorite tracks. Uh, what stands out to you with Haunted? Like and Therapy is one of them, but I think my favorite song with this album is Still Alive. Oh, and that's heavy, too. I mean, that's a really killer song, too. I even like the uh, title track of the album, Haunted. I thought that was really cool. And just, I, I like this. I mean, you know, this did have a slower tempo, but the music was still pretty heavy. Um, Beneath the Black Sky was a really killer fucking song on this no, album. I, I was just getting ready to mention about that song. And with this album, with Haunted, uh, at that time he, he had Alan West playing on guitar. And Alan West played in uh, Obituary. Uh, Terry Butler was his bassist on this album and Terry Butler played in death. He played in massacre. Um, and also at some point in time within the last several years has played with obituary. So there's a lot of legendary guys who play in death metal and kind of got the vibe of where this project was going. So, but now we got to talk about the follow-up album here. Well, not exactly the follow-up album, but the album that we're comparing it to on dead from 2012. Uh, I think this album's a little more on the technical side yeah, it, compared to Haunted. Uh, very fast, you know, but extremely heavy. I mean, yes, there is still a lot of slower tempo stuff that we expect from Six Feet Under, but it sounds like the musicianship here was just a little bit more on the technical side. And some tracks that stand out to me is the opening song itself, Frozen at the Moment of Death. What a cool <laughs> fucking song title! <laughs> I mean, really, it is. And what stands out to you with uh, Undead? To, to me, it's 18 Days. Oh, the, yes. What, That's a heavy what, song, too. This, one of the lyrics in there, I was chosen to murder the living. I was chosen to kill you slowly. Oh, uh, Chris Barnes. I mean, he came up with some really brutal stuff here. Um, From Aldehyde is another really yeah, cool song. Been, and I love that opening drum work. Uh, coming in there, and I believe that was Kevin Talley on drums who played with Suffocation and has played in other various death metal bands. So that's what's cool about death metal is like, you know what I mean? Sometimes if you have somebody leaves a band, they go to join another really awesome band. Um, George Corpse Grinder Fisher sang with Monstrosity and then joined Cannibal Corpse 
after Chris Barnes left, and Monstrosity is a pretty heavy band too. So sometimes with death metal, you know what I mean? They, these guys kind of go from one awesome band to another awesome band. But uh, a little bit more here with um, Six Feet Under's Undead. Um, Vampire Apocalypse is a heavy song too. Um, this is a really, really heavy record. And of course, so it's got some pretty cool artwork on both albums. But which one's better? I mean, I like that's... You can't, you can't... Another song I like off this Undead album is Molest Dead. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? Chris Barnes has come up with some pretty brutal stuff. And that is a heavy song, for sure. Um, so the, now the question is, what's better? You know what I mean? You have um, something a little more on the groovier side here with, with Haunted. And then, of course, we have something a little more technical here with Undead. But what's what's better? Uh, I mean, it, this could go either way. You know what I mean? It, maybe in a month or so, I might have a different outlook on it. But comparing and contrasting both these albums, I don't think there's a bad song on either one. You know what I mean? As a, as a fan of Six Feet Under, I'm totally cool with everything I've heard. I might have to give the hand right here to Haunted because... There's some really definitive stuff on here, you know, as Six Feet Under fans, you know what I mean? You, you know, Beneath the Black Sky, Lycanthropy, you know, uh, Human Target, you know what I mean? You're, there's some definitive stuff here, even though Undead might be the slightly heavier the two albums, but there's a few songs on here that I might consider filler. So I think I'm going to have to give this, this winner here to Haunted from Six Feet Under. Jason, what do you think? It was a hard choice for me too, but both albums have tons of great songs, but I think I'm going to agree with my buddy Joey lean towards Haunted. I, it just has a more raw feel to it. Like I said, yeah, I do agree uh, with uh, Undead's that. Undead's more technical and more, uh, it's more advanced, but this one, it's just, to me, it's, it's down to the basics. Yeah. And I like the, it has, this one has a more groovy it's heavy, but it's it's when you hear death metal, you don't think of this. You think of the double bass drums going fast and True. the fast guitars. It's just it's it's so groovy. You know, but when you bring Barnes in there with his vocals, that, those low guttural growls, which has been pretty much his trademark since the beginning, and uh, damn near the beginning, really. So I mean, I do see what you're saying here, and it's almost got like a groovier sense to it. You know what I mean? With that slower tempo. But, you know, it's six feet under, you know, so they got good musicianship. Do you have anything else you would like to add? Just check them out. I want to know what you guys think, too, because before we, we talked about this, I listened to other people talk. And to me, like almost every person had hate towards this band. This how Barnes took in his vocals. I like it. Like I said, I, I'm I'm glad Barnes did this band and didn't take everything from Corpse to put it in this because this is totally different. And it's I appreciate what Barnes did with this band. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I'm, I'm I cool lean with more with the Six Feet Under uh, Chris Barnes as a you know personal favorite, but um, I'm totally cool with Six Feet Under. I haven't heard anything from them that I've disliked. So if you like what you heard today. You know, feel free to subscribe. I'm Joey. I'm Jason. And this is Metal Monster Review. Review.